My suggestion that we make a router template and we route this out as a swimming pool route uh, just to kind of clean this up underneath. I mean there's nothing we can do about this part right here except maybe fill it with some wood, route it and fill it with some nice wood and uh, to repair that but for the most part I don't think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do the swimming pool route or not. I mean if this was my guitar I would be filling this up. I'd route this whole section out and I'd fill it except for the part where the swimming pool route was. I'd just route that out normally, clean it all up, and then this part here I would route, this part here I would route down maybe about a quarter of an inch and I might stick in, glue in a piece of uh, similar wood to what we've got here, which I really don't know what that is. And then I'd re-drill the bridge posts and basically redo the whole thing right there so if somebody did peel the pick guard off, um, looked underneath, then they would see something nice instead of this hacked up mess here. So it's quite a project, and I think it's going to look really good when it's all done, and hopefully, you know, when it gets all done, then uh, we'll get some pictures of it up on the up on yeah, Facebook and the here website. How, uh, I've cut out the mock-up out of the cardstock. This is the cardstock material again. It's just a thick paper. I put it in the laser, and I cut it out, just like you see there. So here's, here's what I had to start with. I started with this tracing paper thing right here, scanned it in, and then I added mounting holes. This doesn't have any mounting holes drawn on it, so I put the mounting holes in there where I thought they should be, and when the owner of the guitar comes in to take a look at this, you know, we can decide whether we want to move the mounting holes to another spot. So basically at this point, I can just tell by laying this on here, the neck pocket's just a little tight, but it's nothing I can't fix real easily. Everything seems to line up really good around the body. It looks pretty good all the way around. The main thing I'm noticing here though is the bridge posts. If I line those up, this one here is is pretty much spot on, but this one here is about an eighth of an inch forward on the cutout that I made. So I'm going to do one more cutout and I'm going to move the bridge post back so it's centered over the existing hole. So basically that's what you do with a mock-up. If I was to send you one, you would lay it on your guitar like this and you check and see that everything's fitting okay and that the contour follows the body well. So if you wanted to make any adjustments at this point you take a pencil and you would draw along this edge for where you want me to trim it down or if you want me to move mounting holes and you would draw those. And in the case of the bridge post right here, you would just make a mark indicating to move it back to the neck about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so we made that tracing on this piece of paper, which you saw earlier in the video. And then from that, I scanned it into the computer and then I drew up uh, the drawing in Corel Draw and I made this mock-up piece. I cut this with the laser again out of the cardstock and if I match it up to the tracing it matches perfectly. So now when I lay it on the guitar body it should match perfectly. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit hard to work with at this point because it is to the outer dimension of the uh, of the um, cavity again. Again the cavity has a bit of a contour going down in so this bottom piece in here, this recessed area, is smaller than the top of the piece would be. So rather than make a smaller piece and have a, a gap there, what I'm trying to do is make it fit so it fits the body really nicely. And since I do have the body here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out of some MDF, some 1 8 inch MDF. I'm going to go ahead and cut two templates. I'm going to cut one router template and then I'm going to use the other one to put an actual bevel on there like I would use on the final piece of material which is on order and should be here sometime next week. So I've got plenty of time to work on this and since the body is here I can kind of dial it in really well myself. Otherwise you'd be getting this in the mail and you'd have to deal with it. You'd have to figure out it's, if it's the right size or not. And uh, most of you guys and girls out there uh, who are doing guitar repair, 
uh, you know how to handle all this kind of stuff and you can make it work. You know, worst case scenario, you'd have to sand or scrape the pick guard a little bit, or the back plate, I mean, uh, a little bit to make it fit just right. So anyway, that's the next step is to go in and cut the, the template and uh, put a bevel on a piece of MDF and stick it down in there and see how it fits. And then uh, with the MDF, I can sand that really easily and shape it really nicely so I can make it fit just right. Then, of course, the next critical part is getting the mounting holes right. And uh, uh, I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do that just yet. Maybe we'll just put some, some new mounting holes in there. Okay, so what I did was I actually had to do it twice instead of showing it on the video two times. Uh, I'm just going to show the completed one. This is the router template I created. And I, this is the actual piece that I routed and I put this bevel on here. You can see a 45 degree bevel all the way around. So now this piece fits in there perfectly. There's just a hair of play, but it's not noticeable at all. I think that the guy's going to be happy with it. And it's definitely a lot better than what we had going on before. So anyway, there's that part completed. Okay, so here we are again with this uh, Gibson guitar, which had this serious hack job going on here. Uh, somebody did something funny with the bridge and just took a drill and drilled this out and just chop the heck out of it. One of the things I'm including with this job for this guy is a router template so he can route out a swimming pool route so he can place the new pickups in there and he has the option of doing whatever he wants here in the future. So that's what this is for. Basically he'll take this onto the body and then use a router to cut this out in here or maybe he'll screw it on or something to hold it a little bit better and then fill those holes because they're going to be under the pick guard anyway. And here's the pick guard. Here's how it turned out. So there it is. And you can see obviously it needs routing. <clears throat> it's standing up here in this spot, just, just a hair. But uh, that's just because there's some glue here on the neck that can, needs to be scraped away with a exacto or a chisel or something like that. Other than that, this fits perfectly. Looks really good on the guitar. It's a nice five ply material. And now on the back side, here's the giant control cavity and here's the cover. Basically this is a uh, uh, same five ply material, it's one eighth inch thick, and uh, it uh, has a 45 degree bevel on the back side again, so it'll com accommodate this little curve that's right in here. So now when I stick that in there, it fits perfectly, everything's flush. It's nice and flush on the back. And then I drilled some new holes. <clears throat> These are not the original mounting holes, I just drilled some new ones because. Uh, you know, as far as like devaluing the guitar, no big deal because it's already devalued because it was hacked up so bad on the front anyway. But this is much nicer than what was in there. So basically that's it. The job's done. I gotta make an engraved truss rod cover. We're gonna put a TR6 right there, or a TRC6 right there with an engraving. And uh but this is the end of the film on this project pretty much until I see the final results when it comes back in here and it's all finished and he comes to show it to me. So that's that project.